Hey. 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 I, I was having a senior moment. <laughs> hey, Ruth, I have to say it's so much fun. Ruth, I feel like we finally get to know you as a as the matriarch of the family. And I'm like, you know, we get to, you're a little bit more funny. You're not as serious and naturally frustrated with Anthony, who's just clueless still. Talk about what that was like, because everybody is like, he still approaches love like a science project. And talk about what that was like, just trying to steer your child into like, this ain't gonna work. <laughs> well, working with Johnny is, is just a dream. He is he is a very generous and wonderful actor, and uh, I think we we played with each other instinctively. So we it was kind of it was kind of nice to mess around with with that really. Um, he's yeah he's just he's wonderful, and I think in terms of Violet, it, it was a chance for me to show a frustrated mother and the kind of the asides and and all of that kind of stuff, which we all know goes on. I think I think this. This time around, as we've embedded in our characters, we we're able to play more because I think to be you know the first season we're kind of finding our feet, aren't we? And uh, and I think I think we all really have a lot of respect and trust for each and working with each other. But it's sort of it's a it's a joy to kind of navigate those words now, really. I have to say, Golda and Audra, you two are like I, they're, you're like my fun aunties because. <laughs> You two are like scheming together and one thinks is smart outsmarting the other one. Um, talk a little bit what it's like because they're the ones who started all this stuff in to begin with. You know, the the confusion and how Kate and Anthony and and not necessarily understanding that some of the other things just because it was more fun for them. It's kind of like a little dating match. So Golda, talk a little bit about, you know, the queen being like, this is her entertainment to play matchmaker. Yeah, but first of all, can I say that um, Adjo and I have known each other uh, a long time and I I respected Adjo's work um, way, you know, years before Bridgerton started. So to be able to play and uh, create stories with her has been an absolute dream. And to be in these, you know, kind of iconic characters um, is is really important, I think, for us as artists, us as storytellers. And yeah, you're absolutely right. When we first kind of see, when Bridgerton season two opens, these two women are, I think, you know, scheming and the task mas taskmasters of the storyline and how it is driven. Um, and yeah, to spend time with Adua on set and to create those storylines has been an absolute dream. I, feel like I have to say you you are like my spirit animal because you're you're cunning but you're smooth <laughs> with it you're very smooth with it you're not as obvious as the others you know what I mean <laughs> so <laughs> talk about that because you know she's very like I'm gonna talk you into it but you're not gonna know you're being talked into it <laughs> it's like a it's like a you know it's like a very um it's like a very smooth brandy that seems to go down well, but then you stand up and you fall over. There's a, you know, there's that, there's that thing going on. I mean, late, uh, Lady Danbury says, um, uh, you know, she she says to, to to Lady Bridgerton actually, you know, um, let show let show those other mamas how the game is really played. And so I think she really enjoys the game. Uh, she enjoys the game. She loves. She's in the life in this particular life, and she loves the game. But, you know, she she and the Queen and uh, and uh, pausing briefly to say right back at you, Golda Rochevel. It's a long time friendship and we never got to work together till now. And what a dream that has been. Um, and may long, may, long may the dream continue. Oh, but Yeah. Amen. Um, the, 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 the Lady Danbury has a debt of honour to pay to Lady Mary Sharma when she and the Queen were not their best selves when, uh, you know, in terms of sisterhood in, when, in their younger days at court. So when the Sharmas return to England, it's time for Lady uh, Danbury to make amends. Mm. So this season, she gets to, to she gets to be in the life to play the game, but with like a moral um, uh, dr driver behind her. So when she is working on the queen with the queen um, to make um, a success of the Sharma's uh, debut at court, she's absolutely playing the game, but she's also paying a debt. 
And I and I love that combination of things that were going on. And then and then it's great, you know, as Ruth was saying about working with Johnny B, working with Golda to ha to have those moments when we can play off each other. Um, and you know, we can do a bit of chess, a bit of strategizing, and a bit of back and forth, and uh, all that's all that's fantastic. And then when you put the three of them together, Golda and Ruthie and me, and and the characters are all driving towards this one goal, which then goes awry. You suddenly get these fantastic, powerful, dynamic women, wrong-footed and having to kind of scramble. And I love the scramble of it. I love it when you kind of you set it up, and then they and then they have to 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 reassess and and, and restructure their stratagems. It's it, it's great. Absolutely. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.